Thank you for joining us for CBN News in Brief. My name is Ongo Ingoge. Somaliland opposition party Wadani cancelled a rally at its headquarters in Hagesa that was scheduled for today. The Secretary of Public Mobilization, Abdullahi Galjire, announced the decision on Tuesday in a press conference at the party's headquarters. Abdullahi Galjire said envoys from Somaliland civil society, religious leaders and former vice presidents appealed to them to cancel the rally in the capital. The envoys, including former vice presidents and UID party officials, met with the leaders of Wadani party today to de-escalate the situation. In candid conversations, Wadani party presented their grievances against the government's attempts to block their constitutionally permitted rallies. They stressed their demands for the immediate release of their leaders, such as the secretary general and the spokesperson. The envoys promised to take the demands of the opposition party to the government. They are set to meet the Interior Minister, Mohamed Kahin Ahmed, whom some of the envoys met earlier separately. Meanwhile, the opposition party held demonstrations at the party office in Burod, which is the administrative capital of Togdel region. Hundreds of supporters gathered at the office. The Secretary of Public Mobilization also announced that the government is trying to withdraw the security detail of Fadani Party's chairman. He called the move a necessary escalation of the crisis and urged the government to refrain from such provocations. The chairman of Fadani Party, Abdirahman Iro, called for the rally at his party headquarters on Sunday following a political deadlock over the Electoral Commission. Yesterday, the government blocked the party from holding a popular rally at its headquarters. However, the chairman, Abdurrahman Iro, marched to his office and made a short speech to his supporters, calling for the continuation of the rallies. <music> Somalian police are reported to have taken control of three offices of the opposition party Wadani in Berbera, Lasanud and Erigavo towns, early on Tuesday morning. The police officers were deployed in the early morning hours. Reports say an order to lock down the offices was issued by Somaliland Police Commissioner Mohamed Adan Saadi, who said the government would take action against those organizing the rallies called by Abdirahman Iro. The current political situation is now tense and it is feared that there will be other clashes between the devoted supporters of the opposition and the police who took control of the party headquarters in several main cities. Tensions between the two sides are not settled down following a dispute over the new members appointed by Somalian President Musabihi to the Electoral Commission and recently approved by the House of Representatives. Yesterday, the police in Somaliland fired live bullets at the chairman of Wadani party and his supporters in Hagesa as Abdurrahman Iro marched towards the party's headquarters where he had called his supporters for a peaceful rally. The Minister of Finance, Saad Ali Shire, today submitted the 2020 government budget to the House of Representatives for approval. In his speech at the floor of the House, the finance minister reported on the economic condition of the country. He talked about Somaliland shilling losing 35% of its value earlier this year, but regaining some of it after the central bank intervention. The trade deficit is huge also, he said, which contributes to the depreciation of the national currency. The national government budget for the year 2020 is $2 trillion. 750 billion and 304 million Somaliland shillings. This is equivalent to a little over 330 United States dollars. Saad Ali Shire said the budget is comprehensive and responds to the needs of the country in a realistic and practical way. He expressed hope that the House will approve it without any changes. The minister said the government gave priorities to sectors in alignment with the National Development Plan, including security, elections, health, education, justice and devolution. In his regard, more than a third of the national budget is allocated to security. 
education will take up 9% of the national expenditure and infrastructure development takes 4%. Reports indicate that a senior intelligence official identified as Colonel Hashi Adan Elmi was assassinated on Monday night in Puntland state of Somalia. He was the head of Puntland intelligence for Mudug region and is said to have been gunned down near his residence in northern Galkayo. The Al-Qaeda affiliated group Al-Shabaab has claimed responsibility for the death of Colonel Hashi Adan Elmi. According to an official who spoke on the condition of anonymity, the gunmen managed to escape before the arrival of the police. There were no official statements from the Puntland government concerning the assassination. In the past few years, several police and intelligence officers have been assassinated by the militia group. The second annual Mogadishu Tech Summit has kicked off in Somalia's capital Mogadishu on Tuesday. The theme of this year's summit is Scaling Solutions for Somalia, Youth-Led, Tech-Enabled. The Mogadishu Tech Summit focuses on the need for Somalia government, business community, donors, private sector, entrepreneurs and development organizations to apply innovation and technology to drive a sustainable development as Somalia strives towards more stable, prosperous and technologically viable. Somali federal government senior officials led by Deputy Prime Minister Mahdi Mohamed Guleid, Minister of Agriculture and Irrigation Saeed Hussein Eid, Minister of Fisheries and Marine Resources Abdullahi Bidan Wasami, Villa Somalia Chief of Staff Dr. Nur Dirie Hersi and the Mayor of Mogadishu Omar Mohamed Mohamud were present during the opening ceremony. The invited guests also include technology experts outside the country. The three-day event will showcase technology-based creativity and innovation, mainly by young Somalis across the country. Elm School, which is a privately run institution in Somaliland's capital, Hagesa, has been awarded as the most outstanding international school in Africa, offering the British system of education in the world. The school has been awarded by the Accreditation Service for International Schools, Colleges and Universities at an international conference in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. The school has been awarded because of its good performance. The top management of the school, led by the school's director, Jibril Ahmed Mohamed, arrived on Tuesday morning at Igal International Airport, where they were received by some of the school staff members. Mukhtar Muse, who is the chairman of the Parents' Committee, said the award is a great milestone for the institution. He added that hard work of the staff and the administrators of the school played a huge role for the school to be recognized. Mohamed Shafi Mohamed, who was part of the team that received the award in Malaysia, says the acknowledgement puts Somaliland on the international map and plays an important role in Somaliland's recognition as an independent country. Elm School is considered to be in the same league as international private institutions in terms of education quality and status. It was established in April 2007 and now has more than 2,000 students. The institution has hired nearly 100 Kenyan teachers who teach English, mathematics, science, environmental and social studies. Somali teachers teach Somali language, Arabic and Islamic religious education. Well, that's your news in brief. Don't go away. Join Abdullahi Hassan later tonight with more details on this news and other news coming up.